Hi everyone. Welcome back to Crochet Rocks. If you wonder what I'm looking at, it's this lamp. I'm trying my best to keep the lamp on because it's beautiful and a lot of people dig it, but you know, dig it man, they dig it. But it makes a noise that is really off putting, you know. I'll try, I'll try, push through it. It's just very, they're very difficult when it's right by my ear, but never mind. We'll move on. So I've got some yarn to show you. And some of this I've had in my shop for a while and some of it is new to me. And it's not new yarn, it's new to me. And um, I like it. I like the way it goes um, really, really well with the other yarn. I just thought my glasses were broken. I don't exactly treat them very well, but it, it wasn't. It was just, it's just a stain. Okay, so this yarn, the yarn I had for quite some time, is Stylecraft Bambino. And they do Bellissima and Bambino. The Bellissima is more, I guess, aimed towards adult colours and the Bellissima baby. But to be honest with you, I don't see that. They're both equally beautifully soft. And the Bellissima, the B Bambino, Although it says it's Bambino, I mean, I'd wear that colour. I'd wear that colour. I'd wear that colour. Now, I didn't bring all the colours in. And the reason I didn't bring all of the colours in is because I wanted to match these to the, the Bambino prints that I got recently. And um, I never kind of... I like um, variegated yarn. I like self-striping yarn. But I prefer manipulating the colours as I want them in things. I'll show you what I mean. Now, I've been swatching up and making circles. A new design I've kind of been working on with some variegated. So I tried this one and I, and I wanted this ridge. So um, I haven't got that far with these. These are smaller. But this is made with um, the, the print, the elements. The Starcraft Batik Swirl elements and I've been doing it with this which is um, a special DK in the colour of petrol. This one was some um, Hayfield Breeze that I bought but because it's variegated it was a darker part of the of the ball. If it had been this part I think it would look completely different but it did pair very nicely with the petrol. But I'm kind of still working on this. Um, the way I did it with, with this one, although I liked the fact, see this puckered a little bit. And although this one didn't, um, it wasn't enough stitch count. So I'm still kind of figuring this all out in my head. And I didn't like it and I was going to undo it. That's why this is attached now to this ball. And my computer lead got involved. So let's just wind this up while we're talking. So yeah, I've kind of been working with variegated. I do like variegated yarns. I like them self-striping, but I was just undoing this one um, because it wasn't really it wasn't really the colours that I wanted, and it wasn't the stitch count that I really wanted. So so yeah, I do like them. I do work with them. I do use them, as you can see. But um, and ombre yarns especially, I do love working with ombre I've got this going on which I really need to finish I know but this is um an ombre yarn so I do like them and I do I do use them but when it comes to doing things like um <coughs> a circle or a square and I don't like it to finish one color in between you know what I mean like it to finish the whole round before we start another because it gets a bit disjointed another I don't know but these Bambino prints, these intrigue me because they are quite a quick colour change. So you wouldn't really get that, although it does show you here how they stripe. Um, that's kind of, I always say that is a very, um, it, it depends on how wide your swatch is. It's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not irrelevant. It's not retrospective. I'm trying to think of the word. It's, it's, um, escaped me at the moment but it is it depends on your how your swatch is whether you're knitting whether you're crocheting how wide it is what stitch you're using as to whether you get that stripe like that 
or you get it kind of um, a little bit uneven in that striping. But this is the, the self striping yarn, the Bambino Prince. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's really, really soft. I would wear these colours. I mean, they are pinks. They are all shades of pink, even to pinky brown, although it's not brown. It's just that kind of very kind of pinky brown. Do you know what I mean? That isn't actually a colour. But it's a double knitting, Bambino Prince by Stylecraft. It's 100% premium acrylic. It is absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> 30 degrees for a machine wash. You can tumble dry, you can iron and you can dry clean it. It's all the things there, see? all the. I tell you what, one the yarn addict is rubbing off of me. He's got me saying all the things. He has. Um, anyway, four millimeter crochet hook is recommended. This is called Ring of Roses. Ring of Roses. It's pretty, it's beautiful. So I thought, okay, Bambino Prince then. Matches up really nicely with these two. So if you wanted to make something, you could really bring those colours in. You could even bring in the, the cream colour. But you could match it. You could match it with so many, so many colours that are just beautiful in that kind of, they're all there. They're, they're all kind of there. Now, I don't have every single colour that there is in all of in I, any of these. I'm building them up quite gradually. I'm only got a small shop after all. I've got quite a large inventory in a very small shop. So, yeah, I do, I do kind of try to diversify as much as I can. But it is absolutely gorgeous yarn. I really, really love this. Now, what's the metres? Let's, light's not particularly good in here today for some reason. 268 metres or 293 yards, which is very good. Very, very good. But I really like those pinks, the way they matched up. So then I thought, what about this one? Because I really love these yellows. And it's got that beautiful grey. So you could pick out grey with this one. You could pick out the cream. And you could pick out this awesome one over here. Because that is in there. And all of those colours beautiful on the blanket together wouldn't they or a shawl or anything you th you sort of think of working that would just all go together so so well this color is i didn't tell you what those colors are called i will in a sec awesome avocado i have to say i've never eaten an avocado that color but it's awesome avocado this one <clears throat> they have lovely names I'm, I'm clotted cream i do like the way they call their their yarns colors i really do this silvery one is called gray mist gray mist so the ones that i showed you earlier heather so many yarns called heather but there are aren't there so many and this is called soft pink the prints of this one ring of roses as i told you this one is called hopscotch lovely names but that would go so well with all those colors they that, I, that this is my favorite in terms of how it matches with so many different ones it is absolutely dreamy soft and this is their swatch up now i might do some swatching of my own these are obviously knitted and relative that's the word i was looking for they are kind of relative it depends on your swatch so i might choose this one maybe more than this one and do some swatching and show you how that works up and what it what it crochets up like i could do that and i might do that as a video tomorrow um okay you know i love blues this is called leapfrog and yeah it's gorgeous you could wear this as an adult it's not i don't think it's it's baby yarn that isn't for babies <laughs> or it is, you know you can use it for babies if you want but again that gray and then there is this blue and wouldn't they just all go together so well there's even a kind of a it's not avocado it's got some greens it's got some greens so if you wanted a contrast colour, even that would still go. They just all go together so well. They're kind of so interactable. 
mix and matchable. I think I'm making up words as I go. But as I said, that all the dimensions and everything else are the same. It's called Leapfrog. And this blue one is called Vintage Blue. Vintage Blue. But they're so... Um, well, they, they're just so good for mix and matching. I, I really, really love them. And they are beautifully soft. But having said that, Bellissima is also really beautifully soft. And that noise is driving me to distraction. I'm really trying to leave it on. But it is hard. Um, but yeah, the, the Bellissima is just as soft. You could use Bellissima, no problem at all for a child or a baby. And, and you wouldn't think ah she hasn't used baby yarn in this but this one i love but the is it hopscotch the hopscotch one is my absolute favorite but that just matches with so many so many beautiful colors that you can bring in and make you can make a really gorgeous gorgeous project with that but you know they all they all kind of go together so well because they are i mean look at that that grade goes so lovely with with that and with the avocado just beautiful i really really like this i will build this range up um so my next order from starcraft i will get have a, a maybe get some more prints and have a look um i the, the only reason i have a limited range of uh, the bambino in the first place was because um firstly i got it for one of my subscribers who wanted some and said if you get it i'd rather buy it from you than anyone else so i did i got them and she did buy loads of it but i also found it hard at the time the a lot of the colors that i wanted to order weren't in stock so obviously it was summertime i guess and there was a massive run on them so hopefully next time i place an order i'll be able to get more colors and what i'll do is i'll i'll really try and pick out the colors in the prints and and kind of you know try and get matching colors but i'm going to swatch some up so watch out for that i'll try and get it done for tomorrow um if i can i'm not well, possibly get it done tomorrow i've got a busy day tomorrow but that is, oh, I just love this one. I really do. And it's such a neutral colour, isn't it, as well? So if you did need to make something for someone who was expecting and you didn't know what it was, you couldn't really go far wrong. But I decided I wanted a lemon, a blue and a pink first out the box. Um, that way every, every kind of base is covered. But I'd certainly wear these. They're just really gorgeous beautiful yarns anyway thank you for watching and for um for going through these with me i will swatch them up and hopefully you'll get to see some crocheted um examples of some swatches on the yarn bands they always show you knitted they never never really show you crocheted ones um a couple of times i've been to a shop and they'll have some crocheted um swatches and examples hanging up and i think well good on you for once people are doing that but um yeah i will i will do some swatches and i um, hope to see you then on the next one bye for now